Well, my friends, imagine exploring Bangkok in less than four hours. Yes, without taking tuk-tuks, taxis, motorbikes or any other transportation and seeing the best of Bangkok in less than four hours. Is that possible? Yes. Watch this vlog and see how to explore the best of Bangkok in less than four hours. Let's go. So I have just reached here by taking BTS the SkyTrain to Siam station and after that taking exit 5. So the bus is parked outside of Siam Paragon Mall and so easy to reach. And if you want to see the best of Bangkok in less than 4 hours and pay only 500 Thai baht, which is a promotional price now, then stay with me till the end and see what are the things you will enjoy. Alright, good morning. So we can sit wherever we want, right? Yes, of course. Okay, thank you. Now before we start our today's beautiful journey, let me give you a general idea about what would be like our next couple of hours and what are the things you can do or maybe not. Now this bus has three sections. Once you enter the first section and the upper deck the second section, which half of it with closed roof and the front part is open. If you want to enjoy panoramic views, which I consider the third section, and that's where I recommend you to sit, if you want to enjoy to the maximum. As you saw, you will have free earphones because you have the option to be guided virtually by seven languages where you will listen to the details about the stops and the landmarks once you are near and around them. So it's good to have some knowledge about the places you are visiting. Besides the earphones, you also have free Wi-Fi and insurance for your trip. And of course, a free map that shows all the stops which are more than 16. And let me tell you how the system works. If you get down from my yes. press, you have to wait around one hour for the next bus. Alright. Yes, because of the bus will start from here every hour. The All first right. time at 9 o'clock, the last so, bus at 3 o'clock. Yes, so if we leave the bus, we have to wait at least one hour to take the bus, the next bus, yes. right? And today, how many stops? Uh, 16 stops. 16 stops. Yes. The bus leaves from here every one hour. So it starts from 9 a.m. and the last one leaves at 3 p.m. So if you want to start and finish early, then the options are available. Now once the bus starts the journey, we'll stop in each mentioned location and if you hop off, which is the right word of the system, hop off and on, you can go out and check the location. But you have to wait around one hour to hop on again for the coming next bus. So simple as that. Now let's start the journey and tell you the basic tips to enjoy the ride. The first three stops are some of the most famous malls and markets in downtown Bangkok. Well, obviously, Siam Paragon, where the journey starts, after that, MBK Center, and next, Samyam Mitri Town. My tip if you are not into shopping, then why to hop off? Just wait for more interesting stops. Unless you can come early and do your shopping in Siam Paragon and MBK, which are a walking distance from each other, and take the bus after that. So keep that in mind, now let's continue our journey into the fourth stop. After the shopping malls, the first interesting stop comes Chinatown. Well, maybe a lot of you have seen Chinatown and wandered around, enjoyed the street food, but trust me, the views from above where I'm sitting now is totally different. Where you can see the action, enjoy the ride and no hustle to walk at the narrow crowded streets. So again, my tip why to go down and walk, unless you want that. Let's enjoy some views from the bus and see you at the next stop. Thank you. 
Now this is the next stop, the Dragon Temple. So if you want to go out and explore the temple and take some nice pictures, then go for it. But I will stay in the bus and see you in the next stop. Kosan Road, our next stop, it's good to check this backpacker spot at daytime and maybe do some massage, eat some food and spend some time before you hop on again on the next stop. And trust me, Kosan is different at daytime, so why not to check? This is another stop, the giant swing, and a temple just around it. Well, it's good to take some pictures in front of the giant swing because I did a lot. But I will stay in the bus cause the next stop interests me more as I see on the map. So try to check the map and enjoy the virtual audio guide, let's go. Wakpo, the reclining Buddha temple, will be our next stop. Here I do recommend you hop off and start checking around. Because the next stop, you can check it by just walking around. So it will be fun to explore Wakpo and after that walk to Grand Palace. And then hop on again to the bus. So you can enjoy an hour around exploring these historical sites. Now for me, I will stay in the bus and see you on the next stop. What are on the Temple of Dawn? A must visit site. I have explored this place with bus, boat and even from a rooftop bar restaurant. You can watch the vlog if you have missed that on our channel on the above link. So go for it, move your legs and take some beautiful pictures. I will see you in the next stop. Our next stop is Icon Siam. Now I'm not talking about all the stops cause if you want to check them before you book your trip, you can on the official site of this bus, which is Elephant Bus Tours. So Icon Siam, the most luxurious mall on Chaproya River, and yes, you have to hop off. It's not just a mall, so go out and explore around, eat, shop, take some good pics, and even you will stay more than an hour if you want. But our today's vlog topic is exploring Bangkok in less than 4 hours. So I'll see you in the next stop. Mahanakon Skywalk, one of the best skywalks in Bangkok if not the best, with sky bars and breathtaking views from above. So if you wanna experience that, then you better not wearing shorts or flip flops, but if that's the case just like me, then you can come another time by taking BTS to Chongnon Sea Station, now let's go.
The last stop before we go back from where we have started will be Silom and Patpong. Well, if it's the sunset time, then hop off, but if it's still early, then not. You can pass by at night and see and explore more. Here we are back where we have started, let's hop off and tell you why you should take this bus to explore Bangkok. Well my friends, I hope you enjoyed this vlog and of course everything you saw in today's vlog. So if you want to see and enjoy Bangkok in less than 4 hours, then the only way is this elephant hop on and off bus. It's really a nice experience to see best of Bangkok and let me tell you something that nowadays the price is super discounted. It's only 500 Thai baht, it was 800 the original price. So if you are in Bangkok and if you want to see the best of Bangkok without wasting time, no tuk-tuks, no taxis, no motorbikes, no hustle, then the elephant go-go bus is the only way. So I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned and subscribe for more from Live Love Thailand.